Well, hello everyone. In today's video, I want to talk about different amp meters that we are going to use to test how good the TBD Smart Shunt is and how good the Victron Smart Shunt is when it comes to the accuracy of measuring amount of amps going through your wires. Okay. Um, I wanted to make one video where I would just do the equipment and Victron Smart Shunt testing since I already have it installed. However, I will not do so. Uh, I will make two videos. The first one will be equipment that we are going to use in order to test amp, amp flow through your wires or how many amps are going through your wires. And another video will be testing the Victron Smart Shunt. So, in this regards, let's start with equipment that we are going to be using in those tests. Now, I have a three different pieces of equipment, okay? Um, we are going to start with the least expensive piece of equipment that I have. And it costs only, and it cost me only $30 when I was purchasing it in 2019. It is MK06 meter. It will measure DC amps, AC amps. You've seen this in my videos before. Okay, cost me $30. The next piece of equipment that we are going to use, and it's medium price, not medium, it's still expensive, but costing $135 is this Klein Tools CL800. So far, I have found this to be very, very accurate. Now, the last piece of equipment that we are going to use is the one that cost me the most. And it's just, just $227 for a clamp meter itself. And it is a Fluke I40410, Fluke I410, clamp-based AC-DC current meter, okay? And according to this, uh, it gives a, as you will figure out by now, it gives a, a voltage reading off of these. And that's how you measure your amps. And basically the output is one millivolt equals one amp. So we'll see how accurate these devices are. So let's start with that. Let's see how good they are going to be. Uh, we are going to start on the low spectrum of amperage testing. We're going to go from one to maybe 10 amps, depending what my power supply unit over here can give. We'll test the accuracy there. And then, we will we'll, uh, uh, once we are done with that and see what the numbers are, then I'm going to make another video in regards to testing the Victron Smart Shunt and see how it is accurate to what you see on a readout from a Smart Shunt and what is actually flowing through the uh, Smart Shunt. And in that case, we are going to be testing, I think, upwards of 200 amps. And then we are going to be able to change the resolution of that uh, in really fine increments. And I found a way how to do that. It will be interesting to see. So stay tuned, guys. Let me set this up. And then we will test the accuracy of three of these three devices. Let's see what they can do. Let's set up my uh, power supply over here. Okay. Currently, I'm at the 5 volts. So everybody knows that these little Chinese power supplies... You can set up a constant current on them, okay? So how we do that is we connect these two probes, okay? And I have already pre-tested this. So we have right now we are set up to do one amp, okay? So the, the power supply says one amp. Let's see what our testing equipment says. Now, in regards to Fluke, I-410, I'm going to be using this as um, 
is thing that they will read the output off of the off of that clamp meter. This is the Fluke DM383, which I bought, I think, either 1997 or 1998. I think there might be some people that are watching this video that are not even that old, but I bought it. I, I learned how to trust it. I, I, I always use it, and it has never let me down. So we will use this in conjunction with I-410 to see what we get. All right, so here we go with MK06. Now put it on 40 amp reading, and we are going to zero it out, and we'll hook it up. Okay. The next one will be the Klein Tools CL800. You got to put it in the DC amps and we are going to zero it out all right and then we are going to uh, get this one going and we are going to hook it up okay I'm going to turn it on, and if you didn't know, you zero it out with this, okay? So, let's see what kind of a reading do we get. From the fluke meter, and... So Fluke gives us a reading of 0.9. I don't know exactly what it is, but it is 0.9. Now the uh, Klein Tools gives us a reading of 0.93. And MK06 gives us a reading of 0.95. So 0.9. 0 0.95, 0 0.93. Let me try zero it one more time. All right. 0 0.99, 0 0.97, 1. And the fluke is going between 1 and 0.9. So this is what we are going to go with for right now. Okay, so let's start increasing amperage through the wire. All right, the little power supply shows 2.01 amps. Fluke shows... 1.9 the climb meter shows point 1.96 and mk06 shows 2.03 amps seems like so far so far the mk06 is the most accurate one okay so Let's continue increasing the current through the wire. Showing 3.11 amps on the power supply. Showing 3 amps on the fluke. Showing 2.99 to 3.01 on the uh, uh, Klein tools and showing 3.13 on a MK06. All right, I wish everything would fit here. So there we go. Okay, so let's increase. 
let's increase the uh, amount that is flowing flowing through the wire right now now uh, let's go to 5 amps Uh, according to the power supply, it's 5 amps, 5.01 amps. The MK06 shows 5.17. The client tools is showing 4.9. And the fluke, the fluke itself is showing 4.9. Okay? So we are starting to see the deviation between these devices. Now let's go increase to the max. All right, so my max on this power supply is the 10.4 amps. Fluke is showing 10.4 amps. Klein Tools is showing 10. 10.03, 10.38. And MK06 has started deviating. Now it's 10.55. Okay, so there is a there is a little bit of a difference. Now, interesting thing will be to see how big of a difference are we going to have once we start testing the smart shunt itself. And then after we after I do the video on the smart shunt accuracy, then we are going to do a video on the uh, TBD smart shunt and see how accurate readings there are. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you have found this video interesting. And please uh, watch the next video in the series. It'll be here. It'll be out here shortly. All right, talk to you again.